Okay, so we bought a boat. Previously on La Vida Pena Vega. This has been a dream of mine for how long? Five, six years, seven years? We're pulling out all of our windows. Two years into this, was the boat what we thought it would be? Yes and no. Right, yes and no for me as well. <laughs> we are finally unstepping the mask. Now the ACs were broken, and we didn't know that at the time. Uh, the whole Kingston hand store, his middle finger basically got chopped off. Moving day! Okay, on boat? You're living on the boat. Nope. Hey, oh, careful. What's going on guys, Carlson and Alexa here. Today we're coming to you live from the middle of the ocean. We are on a cruise because that's what our family does. We just love the water, we're on a cruise ship. The Cheers. kids are <laughs> the kids are in kids club right now, so um, we had an opportunity to finally sit down have a little chat with you guys. We're really a, a, a little spoiled in this room uh, and whenever this episode comes out, we do have an episode uh, of this entire About this room. Week. Awesome, cool. So we'll, we'll share that. High five. Room. Yay! <laughs> All right. Let's get to it. My, my name is Cross Penavega. This is my wife. Alex Penavega. And this is another episode of La Vida Penavega. Welcome to the show. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, what's up? Good afternoon. I am so bummed that I didn't have the camera rolling this morning. It got crazy. Crazy. I had a bunch of people scheduled and what do you know? Everyone showed up at the same exact time. So we had Todd here who, who's helping us do, uh, redo all of our soft goods because this yellow has got to go. Another person that showed up was Howard from Tropical Marine. He's gonna be doing our AC and now I just found out we're getting a new water maker too. Yay! Uh, our water maker is Dunzo. It's 2015. It's sat for two years. It's gonna cost about six to seven grand to fix, or we can get a brand new, better one for 15. Now I know what you're thinking, gosh, it's a lot more money because it's you know six years old. He's like, let's just get you a brand new one, and I'll, I'll you know hook you guys up and try and you know give you the best deal possible. We have a new guest on board. Baruch Vega is back on the vlog after remodeling the house in Maui. He has decided to come back, live on the boat for a brief while and help us get this beauty uh, back on track. To save money, Alexa, Baruch, and I have committed to redoing all the headliner and everything all by ourselves. How do you feel about that, babe? Sorry, I'm pumping. So it's okay, it's okay, I'm covering your pump. I think that it's like everything else we've done. It's crazy, but we're gonna get it done. Why it's gonna look awesome. not? Look, we saved so much money by switching to Geico. So. High five. So we finally get our windows done. They caulk everything, and and I'm like, I I'm just sitting in here doing a couple things, and I look outside and I see our kids climbing. Yeah. On the so I race out there, and what do you know? On the brand new fresh caulking that was still curing oh. fingerprints and footprints. Uh, so thankfully Manny from Elite Marine Glass and Caulking, uh, he came by and he's like, dude, I can fix this. I'll fix it on Thursday. So tomorrow they're gonna fix it. And then finally we have. Logan here, the mechanic who has been doing an amazing job at fixing our generators. And let's just go see how he's doing. Logan from Wolf Services, welcome to the how vlog, bro. Carlos right, took a hit on a lot of other things, but I saved him a lot on these generators. This guy, yeah, I'm taking yeah. a lot of hits. Okay, so uh, another thing that's pretty crazy is that we're supposed to head down to Fort Lauderdale in about 10, 11 days, and our mast is still not on. It's gonna be put on in like six, seven days. But, and I, I should have been on this earlier, I gotta sand and paint that thing in, in the next week, and that is a project all in itself. Our budget's completely blown out of the water. I knew that was gonna happen. I was told that that was gonna happen, uh, and it happened. You know what, I think it's, I've spent more on this than my house. But oh, whatever, it's gonna be great. All right, babe, first cast, go for it. These are squid. I just put my first squid on our. So, so what happened today? Um, my husband surprised me because he's kind absolutely of. amazing. I wasn't gonna surprise you, but then we all. No, went what together. you did was perfect. I uh, said, I said, okay, yeah, you yeah, love yeah. fishing. Buy whatever you want. No, I mean, she can buy whatever she wants. I don't have to give her permission, but I said buy whatever you want. So she got herself her own reel, a sick reel. She got a fillet knife. I got a 
fillet knife. She got the a, a fillet table, table for the back of the boat. Show it off. Show us your rod and reel. Ooh. Help you what? Help me that. Okay, be very careful. Go for it. Good job. Good balance. Oh, he's naked. Okay. Well, hopefully that footage will work. What's up, guys? Good morning. It's Saturday. What is it? October 23rd. Been, been tough having living on board, but having kids living on board and trying to get stuff done. And, but we're 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 doing the best that we can, right? Right? So this is how we make coffee on the boat. Nice job, babe. We need to buy a French press. We just need to buy anything to make coffee. Look at you. Dude, show us what you got. What is that? Cheat sheet. A what? Cheat sheet. A cheat sheet? Yeah. Daddy, we caught this one, but look, it's good eating. Look. You caught a NASA grouper right here at, at the dock? Small one. Oh. Look, small like one in Yeah. Oh, Ricky, Mama. Oh, Ricky. Oh, did you turn it on, baby? Ricky. Oh, my gosh. Daddy taught you how to turn it on. Okay, soon. Okay, hold on. Tell me. Me. Okay, come here. Let's put your short time. Come here. So one thing we're doing uh, on the mast is that we're gonna put new lights on all the spreaders all the way up. So three, one, two, three, four. So six lights. A little brighter than this one. These are a little. These are not so good. I am gonna be sanding for the next six to eight hours because I gotta get this done so we can prime and then hopefully paint by Wednesday. That's the new plan. We'll see if we can accomplish it. Look who just showed up. Look who just showed up to work. So. I have to start this. No, I have to start this. The mass was the bane of my existence. Why? Because when we finally got down to it, we started sanding it, one, it was everywhere. So hard. It was everywhere. There yeah. was dust. You couldn't breathe. It yeah. was insane. The whole thing about taking the mask off and repainting it, it just it it didn't it didn't go according to plan. We thought it would just be a very easy yeah. thing, take it down and repaint it. Yeah. We didn't realize the whole thing would have to be sanded down. Uh, we didn't realize that it was in way worse condition yeah. than we were expecting it to be. And we also thought it'd be way easier to paint it. Like I thought it'd be like painting one of our like rooms, <laughs> but it was not that. Needless to say, um, this was not the job that we expected it to be. Okay, so we have to pick colors, and I think today we are deciding that we're gonna do this whisper gray right here on all of the, uh, oh. Oh, there are more colors. Oh. Yeah, but we can't do these colors, but there are more colors. Anyways, I think that we're gonna do this whisper gray on all of the spreaders. And do the whole mask, the white that matches that white the best. That's the plan. Whisper gray and white. Okay, so we're gonna let the boys swim for the first time. Ocean's gonna get in. I'm gonna let a little rope out though, okay? So that if the uh, current is too strong, you can grab onto it, okay buddy? So Daddy's being super brave. We're going on our first dunk in the water. I feel like it's fine. I mean, we only have like little sharks, and I feel like it's not really the hour for the sharks anyway. Like the tide is good. I would just be careful of the current. Hey, should I throw some bread in? I know, Ocean was like, what's at the bottom? What's at the bottom? Is that a shark? Is it a shark? He's like, oh, I think it's a stingray. So shark, sharks, 
Uh, well, in the marina, we definitely see some sharks. We see a lot of sharks, actually. Nurse sharks, though. Um, but we've seen some, I actually think we've seen some bull sharks, and we've seen a hammerhead. Stop it. Yes. When? Right when we first moved in, no. and we were on Cracker Boy's side. 100%. No. 100%. Okay, well, I've I've definitely seen nurse sharks. Kingston and I have, have, have been snorkeling off the back of the boat. And Kingston, come, you know, he'll come up and go, I just saw a nurse shark, it's so cool. So, like, it's not like we're afraid of it's them. It's not scary. I mean, obviously, they're, like, you don't want to mess around with a bull shark. Yeah. Um, Hammerhead. Well, I feel, yeah, sure, but, uh, I mean, nurse sharks are just so, they're cute. I actually think they're really beautiful. Yeah. I wouldn't go in at night. There's a place in, around, in the Bahamas. But, that you can swim with all the nurse sharks, and I cannot wait to do that. Daddy is with you. He'll be right there if you jump in. Whoa! Okay, you ready to jump in, Bubba? Yeah. And then Daddy's gonna pull you in, okay? Yep. Come on, Jake, go this way. Is that too scary? Yeah. What are you scared of? So Lois just got off a phone call. He's been sitting here. Seem really down and normally he's so, really excited. So, two things. Well, today with the water maker and the AC, I was just like, it's a big job. It's like a fifty thousand dollar job. Wait, what? Yeah, because the AC is going to be between thirty and forty ish in between there, and the new water maker is. I thought the AC was going to be like twenty. And then, and then the uh, the the, the uh, water maker is going to be like. $15,000. So that's a, that's a $15,000 job. Oh, not to mention the upholstery came back for, for all the soft goods. Okay. That's with, with us doing the headliner, 27000 What was his original goal? 23, but that didn't include all the headliner. I'm literally better off buying a house and redoing a house than you own a piece You'll of property. You'll at least make money. <laughs> and make money on it. Parts are not coming on time. Okay. So, so the mass isn't going up. So the mass is not going up next week. And then they need three days to put all the sails back up, re-rig all the lines, and do sea trials. I think we lost about three weeks and a good At chunk Rabovich. and a good chunk of money of not having a plan. And I've learned so much about having a plan. So I was always told boat, B-O-A-T, bust out another thousand. But when you have a boat that's over 50 feet. What they forget to tell you is that it's bust out another 10,000. Um, and uh, this boat has not disappointed in that, in that uh, regard. I would like to preface that yeah. we bought this boat for a very, not just reasonable price, please, I think- Please preface, go ahead. I think we bought this boat for way less than it was actually worth. We, we got and a good I'm deal. Super thankful for that. Yeah. In that though, it came with its fair share of problems to where it ended up costing us a lot more than I was expecting it to cost. Sure. The air conditioning, I just... For those of you saying that we are wimps, that we should have just toughed it out and forgotten no. the air conditioners, every time it goes out, our boat reaches over 100 inside because we're not at anchor where you're just getting this natural breeze yeah. that flows through your boat. It is stagnant, it doesn't move, it is Look. hot. Good job. He's okay. Okay. Thank you, Guava. We're not gonna jump no, no, on no. that right Come now. Here. Come here, buddy. Mom and Daddy are, are talking. Come here. Come here. Can you go to Daddy? Yeah. No, done. Um, okay, go for it. Oh. Uh, Good job. But basically, between all the quotes that we got today, today, like hundred dollars today. Yeah. What we need to do is we need to go on the spreadsheet and see what we've actually spent money on yep. and how much. Yep. And then I think and, we and also- And then go from there. Yeah, and then we figure out what do we need to do, what do we need to do. Like, I want to do a little poultry, but that can wait. That, that can wait. I think the hard part is like, sure, we have income coming in, but at any point that income right. cannot happen. Like, For sure. Especially with everything that's going on in the world. For sure. So, 
Like what I don't want to do is go like rely on something that is planned for next year and then if it doesn't happen right. then we're like, oh crap, why did we do all that? Yeah. Stuff? Okay, it'll be why over. did we it, buy a boat? It, it'll, be, it'll be over soon. <laughs> It'll be why, over soon as it Why did we buy the boat? boat? <laughs> why did we buy it? I kissed her eye. Do you love your baby sissy? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm my nectar. You are? Yeah, well, hold that's on. so cute. It is so cute, you're right. These are just the cutest boys. You have to see them. Whoa, yeah. Ocean's gonna call this the mini Meg, he said. Bye, buddies. Bye, 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 baby. I'll see you later. Bye, Bye. What do you think? Yeah, what do you think, baby girl? Oh my goodness, I love you. I love you. We got in a little tip, a little argument. We didn't get in an argument. We, we just got in a, dis in a, in a domestic. A domestic we sounds domestic. like somebody was beating someone. The cops did not have to be called. Yeah, Maybe it was it's just crooked. an argument. It's crooked. And we're on the phone with our with our counselor right now. <laughs> Here's the deal. Here's the Carlos deal. Carlos set a budget for this boat. Yeah. We have the budget. We know what the budget oh, is. Oh, that's, that's, that's oh, what that's we're tough, talking on camera? Tough. We I thought we were talking is. about the fact that your dad was moving onto the boat no, with us. Also, no, no, no. oh, I'm happy to talk about all of it. But first, we're going to talk about the boat budget. We're going to talk about the boat budget. Every single time we get a bill for the boat that we know is in the budget, it's still as if it's a surprise to Carlos. Okay, so all of, of, all of you quiet. folks out there who understand the value of a dollar, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You can have a budget, right? But every time you actually have to physically pay for it, it's just like a little like, ah. Oh. We had a $300,000 refit budget. This is why we budgeted the 300 because I we're know, like, but we're going to get on there and we're going to have no idea. We're going to miss so much. Like, so this is why. He has no idea, no idea. All the crap that's wrong, all the crap that's wrong. He has no. That was a big time. I love my nipple. Big time rush quote. We can talk about the fact that it can be very difficult with family yeah. and money, family yeah. and finances, because you want to be helpful with family members, and it's learning boundaries and what's okay and what's not okay. When some okay, so like, if someone's gonna come live with you, like, you gotta have the conversation ahead of time of like, here are my ex, boundaries. here are the expectations, here are the boundaries. If you don't. You're setting yourself up for disaster. Well, but trying to set those boundaries and expectations once somebody's already in your place, it's almost impossible to do. It all has to be done so everybody is aware of what the situation is. Right. At the end of the year, my dad was driving to Florida because he was moving to Florida, and on his trip, the housing fell through. Um, as if you guys have followed our vlogs before, we've all lived together before, um, it worked out really well. Um, obviously, you know, it's sometimes kind of strange living with, you know, in-laws for you, parents, yeah. just in general. Um, so it was kind of nice having our space back, but obviously him needing housing. Um, and also Carlos needing like a partner in crime. Because I was it, you know what, it was, his. there were pros and cons, but yeah. the pros out outweighed the cons. Yep. So he moved in with us and definitely caused at first a, 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 a little tension. A little tension. And part, yeah, just and, like uh, anything. And Andrew, our best friend, Andrew. Andrew, we love you so much, you're the best. Uh, he was kind of like our little. Um, He's our guru. Our, so our, our counselor. Our counselor. <laughs> uh, and we spoke to him about everything. And um, yeah, you know what? It's been great so far. He, it, still, two years later, he's part time with us. But he's been such a good help for me, um, and he's probably the closest thing that I really have to a dad. So yeah, and he's also getting. I'm, I'm thankful for him. He's getting a lot older, too. And say it. Don't say it. No, I know. And he's getting a lot older, and I really feel like this adventure on the boat has been really, really good for him. Good for all of us as a family. We love you, Brooke. But you still created tension when you first moved in. You definitely created tension. <laughs> still, sometimes still creating tension. Anyways, I'm glad I'm glad that we got the camera out for this. Ultimately, with where we're at now, I feel like the expenses were worth it. Were were totally worth it. We're saying these giant numbers, if you want to be sick to your stomach. Yeah. Do you regret it? <laughs> Do you regret it? No. I think there are days where I am definitely over it. There are days where I'm just like, I'm tired. I just want to be in a house 
where I can do normal laundry yeah. and have a little more space in a yard for the kids. And then there are other days where I'm like, I don't want anything other than this. So. All right, good evening. Happy Friday. Guys, it has officially been one week since the incident. How are you guys feeling? You're naked, kid. Yeah. You're naked, buddy. You, you gotta start wearing some clothes. So far, uh, six weeks uh, into this vlogging adventure, you guys have seen us uh, rip out uh, uh, fridges, windows, uh, windows, get back on the water, from the heart of the water, uh, deal with some family stuff, um, and it's just the beginning. We've had so much fun uh, doing this whole entire journey. Um, We're gonna leave you with a tiny little wow for the for the vlog, just like a little one for today's show. What do you got? Sorry, Carlos. No, I mean it's really really simple. Um, our words of wisdom for today are just go out into the world and be light. Mm. I think right now it's just really heavy, it's rough, people are tired, they're worried, it, there's a lot of tension. But if you can just go out there and just smile a little bit and be a light to people from wherever you are, whether it is on your social media page or at the grocery store, wherever, you can literally be a light right from where you are. So use the platform that you do have to do good. Love it. Love it. Pat it. Found it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this week's episode of La Vida Pena Vega. You guys know how we end this, so. Yes, so much love. Much love. God bless. And as always, chop liver. No! We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Um, Carl, this is actually a Speedo. <laughs> I just realized. You did the whole thing in a Speedo? Yeah, but you can always see my shirt. <laughs> I'm on vacation, okay? You look naked. Here, please, come here. No. Give me, give me the camera. No, I'm showing them the room. Okay, you're literally walking around the cruise ship like this. I'm so showing them the room. It's appropriate, but I, they have to know what they're dealing with. No, guys, look at this. It's crazy. We have a great view off the back of the ship. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to eat my watermelon. There you go. Look, I, I no, just put it back down. No, put I put it back down. I took the front in. Put it back down. And I took the back in. Carlos, look. <laughs> what's that? So much better, right? Please put it back down. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Let's go pick up our kids from Kids Club. Yeah. Who wears short shorts? Him. <laughs> what are you eating? What on. Babe, turn it off. We've been working on a puzzle. And poor Rio's probably starving. Let's go figure out.